welcome. May want to do my headlamp. Welcome to North Dakota. We drove all evening to get over here yesterday. After our early morning success in South Dakota. Kind of getting above a couple of these creek bottoms and hoping the turkeys gobble as early as they did yesterday. Miriam said, you know, they gobble. So we're trying to get up here and just hear them and get down there with them before they can see good below them. They got a tendency of running that mouth and getting them in trouble. And we're up above a couple old creek draws, kind of similar to what we hunted yesterday. At least on the map, it looks that way. Maybe not quite as flat. I don't know what we got in store, really. I think it's just a success that we made it here in the dark. <laughs> break as you can see a little bit. I'm trying to jump in here and get in with these turkeys. We've picked out the biggest drain in the area, assuming these turkeys are gonna be in it when we search some turkeys behind us, so Yeah they gotta be right there by where that dark line is, ain't they? Yep. Right in here. You see the creek. Yeah, right in there. Yep. What you think? We decided to cross the road and head over toward the bigger group of turkeys. They were kind of feeding off each other, gobbling a bit more. See how steep that little, that little roll is in front of us. See how steep that little roll is in front of us. Yeah. So if they all pitch over here, we'll be able to use that and get up behind them. Snuck in on this in these turkeys. <laughs> Snuck in on these turkeys using this creek bottom. Got to where the rolling hill was hiding us and got to here, but we can't go any further until everybody gets out of the tree. This terrain is very up and down. So if they get out of the tree, they could potentially put a big ridge between us and we can get in on them. Right now we're on the wrong side of them, I'm pretty sure, because we're we can't get any closer because we're blocked by the hens. You can see three or four hens up in the tree. Should be flying 
around at any minute. See his thing out right here. Yeah, see the top of it right there. You see it? Yeah. We need his hands to get out of the tree. Raptor bore I fell over stick is. Yes. We just need one of these hands to get we need to get these hands out of the tree.
what this gun. Shower and snag him. What's that about 20? Maybe. <laughs> Good shot, Joe. Yeah, it's standing by this big cottonwood. Decided to get to the ground because we was going to try to start calling to the turkeys since the hens were still in the tree and were staying in the tree. We thought we might be able to, I mean, literally they were in shotgun range. We just couldn't see them. Thought if we could bring one of them up to the top to display on the skyline, he'd be in trouble. And that's what happened. Took us a little convincing. We've been listening to drumming all morning, but we were able to luckily see that old road right there. It runs to the bottom. We heard these turkeys way up this drain from the other side of the daggone road and turned around. He's going to a drain on the other side. Turned around and busted tail all the way down here. Had that trail, that road to walk, which made it really quick, quicker than we thought. As you can tell, you, we rolled around this little hillside that we're on and we were on the turkeys like that quick. We had good cover to get us all the way to here, but then we had to put it in park because there was hens all in these trees out here in front of us, probably 75, 80, 100 yards. And I don't know, I mean, it's just a stroke of good luck that they, I mean, I looked at the map, I said, they're gonna pitch the other way. That's where the big, big prairie is, or big meadow, or big fields, whatever you wanna call these things. Instead, they chose this little bitty one. I said, this one right here, so I looked at it on Onyx, and that all the way to the other side, like Drew, you went all the way to the top, it's only 60 yards. Like, where that white tree is you're looking at, that's 60 yards. So as soon as they pitched down into this field, I said, they're in shotgun range. We just can't crawl up our to them because of these dang hens. But one of them decided to come look, look at all the ruckus that was down here in this little hole. And he, didn't, he didn't fare so well. Dang. Oh, Lee, that's an 11 year old. You know what? Big old turkey. Look at the bigger on the same. Big brows of coat there. Golly. It's a little close, Dad. Another cold one this morning. My fingers were frozen. I feel like we're in a good area, though. Yeah. <laughs> He's going away from us if that was him. I think he's gonna mess around and kill the one behind us right here. Possibly. Is that him? 
So you're looking at us? Huh? Just walk right there. Yeah, where's that turkey going? He just bumped down and took off way up fast. Yeah. Trying to call for the time before we sit down. What else? Are you? This one's trying to get around us here, huh? What's this guy over here doing? Standing there like a damn statue. I wonder if he went right. There's two gobblers to my left, one between us and the truck and that guy. There's four gobblers right here somewhere.
I said, all right, hold on. I thought you said, all right, go on. I said, all right, hold on. You said, tell me when. I said, all right, hold on. Oh, man. Oh, man. What was you in, behind a tree or something? I mean, he is standing dead behind the tree. What was the third, third guy doing over here? Oh, no. Oh, did you see the third turkey come up behind him and go over That's what I'm talking him? about. What was he doing? I have no idea. He just come up out of nowhere. <laughs> he sent me a freaking turkey. <laughs> and the cowboys are just showing up out of nowhere. Cowboys gorgeous in that sun right mm -hmm. there. God, how pretty was he when he was strutting? <sighs> I got his video on thing down. <laughs> Doing a lot with the turkeys, but man, we got a little cubby of them. I mean, man, how if you. How weird is it that we just walked from that bottom, walked across right center, walked up that bottom, couldn't get a turkey gobble? No. Got to this top, witted, a turkey gobbled up here, went to crest, looked, and there's right on the skyline, there's a big old gobbler up there strutting. I think the acoustics and all these rolls and stuff Something's and the way you there. hear stuff, man, it's like, it's just like down there a while ago. You yelp, turkey gobble. You yelp, turkey gobble. You walk 15 yards, a little bit lower elevation, yeah. yelp, nothing. nothing. Turned around, walked right back up, 15 yards where you're standing, yelp, gobble. It's something to do. But I'm going to tell you all a story. If you ever wanted to film hunts, we just went through the most premier situation ever. <laughs> Turkeys strutting, two of them, goblin, coming across the top of the knoll about 45 yards all the time in the world. Everything happened perfectly. And uh, just... You said, all right, hold on. I thought he said, all right, go on. <laughs> he said, let me know when you're on him. I said, all right, hold on. And walk. So... Dang it. Oh, well. Oh, well. I had fun. We're still turkey hunters carrying video cameras, yeah. not videographers, video and turkey hunters. So that's kind of the way it works itself out. I'm really just a PE teacher. It's a long <laughs> ways from home, to be honest with you. Man, I had him, Dave. You I had him on the top up there? We were in manual focus. I'm talking about I didn't dial her in there, boy. <laughs> I had the wrinkles on the side of his face. Like we got the thick. It's we eyeball got, blinking. We got four. Yeah, we got we four, four saplings. We got a... <laughs> And I knew when I tucked in tight to you, though, with the shade right here. So see, look, the tighter I get to you, the more shade covered me. Mm -hmm. You see that? So I tried to tuck you know in right there. What? I didn't even turn this on. So I failed, too, because we could have used my barrel camera. What an idiot. Yeah, that's pretty stupid. That is real stupid. Now, I, yeah, I can say the miscommunication thing. I may have had something to do with that, but I didn't have nothing to do with that barrel what camera. What an idiot. That's the first turkey all year that I've forgotten to turn that thing on. on. Oh, no. Well, this is a trashy freaking place, man. Mm, it's just ridiculous. It makes it? me want to go hang out with this turkey and come back in here with a trash bag for the rest of the day. This is freaking nasty. Like some heavy I told you that one I killed is heavy. It's a nice one there. It's a nice one. Got a pretty thick beard too. Yeah. yeah, these are definitely bigger bearded turkeys than what we're usually dealing with. Why do you have my snuff in the back of your vest? Did it fall out of mine somewhere? I'm picking up white chip macadamia nut wrappers all the way behind you. That whole trip. No, you haven't. You, you ain't got no white chip macadamia nut. No way. You ate one? I don't even ate one. I don't yeah. Have I've only ate peanut butter on this trip. Yeah, you ate that one right there. I don't know. Have I been told? 
Milestone grill on a rolling stone. Unleashed a beast over there. Pop that buckle bull. <laughs> you ever hear your wife or whatever talk about taking a bra off after a long day of work? I figure after half a day's of turkey hunting, you go to unclipping them turkey vests. That's about uh, <laughs> that's about equivalent. I'm glad you got up this morning. I thought you were gonna spend all night gambling. Me? Mm-hmm. I thought you was down there downstairs playing them crabs. Is it crabs? Craps? Crabs, ain't no, it? No, that's probably gambling wheel right when we got out of the truck. <laughs> <laughs> you said, I'm going to go over and go ahead and get this out of the way. And I thought, yeah, I can a cup of coffee and move. But... Hey, we appreciate you guys joining us for this video. If you like this one, you'll probably like the next one. I'll leave it up here in the corner. Don't forget to subscribe and follow along with us. We'll leave our social media links down at the description below. That's also where you'll be able to find links on the turkey calls we use and the apparel we wear and that kind of stuff. So you can find that in that little drop-down description below. And uh, as always, we sure appreciate you guys following along.